Yeah, welcome back fellow adventurers. So, we continue with the next part here in Dragon's Reach. What they call Dragon's Reach Part 1. The Waypoint Conundrum where Timey wrote us a message that we should meet at the Leyline Hub Laboratory. There's another sandstorm going on. Has uncovered buried locked chest. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can look for those chests, but I don't really need them. But, uh, you know, in Guild Wars 2 there is usually a lot of stuff to collect and find and so but almost of the almost all of the stuff is about skins in some cases about items so the last time this mysterious seed i packed a uh, seed i've been given planted a ley line infused clay pot to germinate i checked that out and it would eventually give me if i invest a lot of collecting materials crafting materials I would get an extended back item. I don't really need it, but I because I have a uh, back item when I did the fractal fractal dungeons when they came out in the beginning. That's why I don't really need them. So, where's this here now? Would you like to continue the weapon conundrum? Yep, because we want to visit Tammy or Timey. Tammy. Oh. Don't touch anything. Progeny, do not speak to your elders in such a tone. I won't have it. Okay, this is... You'd never get here. Did you stop off at the dead end for a pint and a pie or something? A pint and a pie? No. Keep your voice down. That old lab rat doesn't need to hear this. I got your mail. What's going on? I talked to Zoja, just like Braham asked me to. She got me in to see Counselor Flunt. It was all going great until I made the mistake of mentioning my device. The waypoint recalibra recalibration device you've been working on? Exactly. I'm almost done with it, so he insisted on coming to see what I was working on. I had no choice. I had to bring him here. Are they going to come to the summit? He won't commit. He says it all hinges on whether my device works or not. Okay, let me talk to him. Speak with that... Counselor Flunt. Oh my god, she just reminds me of the... Of what the... In Star Wars. The Imperator. <laughs> I've surmised that you are Odin. What is your involvement in all this? I'm a friend of Timey's. We're working together on the summit. Good. I'm glad she has a hint of adult supervision. However, it is of utmost importance that the Council be alerted when underage progenies make discoveries such as this cave. I understand you're here to inspect her device. That is indeed the case. I need to verify that she is no danger. She claims to have discovered a means to lowering the frequency at which the waypoints resonate. She is working on it, yes. Golly, I'm right here. And I'm not just working on it, I'm almost done. It's going to save the waypoints. How close are you? Well, I'd be closer if these scholarly gentlemen would stop distracting me from my work. Counselor, Timey needs time to finish. We promise we'll show it to you then. I will, wa I will wait for a short while, but I insist on expecting the, the device soon. And will you attend the summit? It's very important. I will attend the summit, but only after I verify that this device can protect our waypoint network from marauding vines. Otherwise, I will have to return to my lab. Laboratory. We understand. Come on, Timey. Let's get to work. Everyone stand back. Except my assistant. Back! Back! My brain needs some room to breathe. Is that a windbag out of your shot? Good. Okay, let's talk. I am gonna need your help to build this thing. I'm going to explain this in terms you will understand, okay? The device we're building modulates, changes, the frequency at which a waypoint resonates, how fast or slow it vibrates. Got it. How does it work? 
Good. Until we attempt into the waypoint network, finds the waypoint we want to fix, and then a dialogue happens between my device and the waypoint. Basically, basically, my device calms down the waypoint. Okay, I understand. What's left to complete? I need three very specific parts. There are tons of scrap here from the inquest. My hope is that we will find what I need here. Ugh, but it's going to take forever with blunt breathing down my neck. I will gather the parts while you, while you stay here and work. It will save time. That's perfect. I will send Scruffy with you. He has an autonomous mode now. I've been hoping for a good chance to test it. Sounds good. What am I looking for? Wait! Let me load up Scruffy with a few detection algorithms to help you out. Detection algorithms, okay. So we, he will figure out what we need. Uh huh. Okay, part number one. I need containment sterilization fluid. You know that icky stuff the inquest store specimens in? Don't worry, I'm not trapping innocent life forms. This stuff just so happens to be suitable for the liquid elements of the device. Number two, the etheric armature from a standard power generator. I'm sure they've got one around here somewhere. It's not a lab unless there are power generators going haywire. Finally, I need a sample of leyline magic infused rock. You could mine some, perhaps, but that'd take ages. I spotted samples earlier stored in wooden boxes toward the rear of the cavern. Much easier to just take those. Scruffy's ready to take commands. Simply interact with his input panel and select the behavior routine you want him to follow. He can detect items of interest, follow you, and defend from enemies. Scruffy can also repair damaged containment units if you happen to find any. Okay, he can do a lot of stuff. Activate his follow mode. Scruffy's command panel has four options available, one of, wi one of which brings up instructions from Timey. Follow mode is just that, following. Don't count on Scruffy to do anything else. Defend mode disables following, but Scruffy will fight for you, protect you and even draws enemies of you. I've included a handy detection scan. If you're looking for something, it might help point the way. And if there's an ambush in ahead, it will warn you. Activate detection scan. Follow mode must be active for the defender detection. Activate follow mode. Okay, we have now detection and follow mode available. These containers are sealed. I guess this is where we have to put our st stuff when you get it. Okay, come on, let's get to work. It sounds like a lot of shit we have to do here. Such questionable fraternization should be closely monitored. Agreed. The council has been too lenient with Zoja since Snap's passing. Her recent activities are especially concerning. Entrusting a progeny with critical projects, allowing her to run around with those reckless doorbusters. At least they keep her and her golem out of sight. <laughs> How true. What are you talking about, Soldier? What the fuck do you want? They, they uh, fuck off. <laughs> I don't most of the time when I hear them talking, I always think of a person who has a who has a, no a, no a nose pointed towards the to to towards the sky. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, when people talk uh, as if they are living uh, in the sky and talking down. This is how this is usually the, the usual Azuran way of talking, but these are you can easily spot the difference. Oh, here here's detection scan active. Come on, do something. Without reason, reinforcing. Re this as sterilis this container looks stable as sterilization fluid can be, can be taken if the container's transfer mechanisms are reinforced. Ac acquire a vial of containment. Yeah, okay, here's the stuff or not? I thought you had something here active. Reinforce containment device. Okay. This container looks damaged. Detection scan. And now... Is there something to do for us? Ah! Acquire the etheric amateur from an Azuan power generator. Seems to be just on the other side. Come on, Scruffy. You're doing good work. I can already see this. 
I can already see this. And there's no need for us to defend. Lol? What is he doing there? Is there something about the ley line? Lol! I thought he was working with me? Man. You know what's cool when I usually... When I uh, was playing with my girlfriend and she she plays Guardian. And the Guardian has a skill when using a great sword that he can use his sword to pull enemies to him. Yeah. And when yeah, well when the Guardian uses that skill and j I just stand in front of those uh, of those enemies, yeah, all in one place and then I just hit them with hundred blades. So what is here? This device does not look like a power terminal. It does, however, have an activation switch. Switch it on. It's not a power generator, but we can use it to activate. Several stands are scattered across the ground. Each have a various power gems, but aren't actually powering anything. Okay. Inquest papers. Inquest reports cover the walls, but none of them describe how to disassemble a power generator. A standard Azuan power generator and nearby no reads do not attempt to disassemble the generator without employing the proper procedure. Be fair to instructional pamphlet 2065 for more details. Instructions are for chumps. Well, I'm not sure about... Uh, well, okay, we try it out. Uh, no, this doesn't work one bit. Detection scan. Look for the instructional pamphlet. Uh, where is it? Nope. Okay. Kinda have the feeling that it could be just here, yeah. I'm pretty sure that if I just choose something to disassemble the power generator, then... Oh. Instructional pamphlet. Are we here? Hey. Where the fuck is he going? Yeah, veterans are usually enemies which are a little bit harder, but... They should be doable... Even if you are alone. And... Being alone is this is not the case for champions. For but in some cases you can still get champions on your own, but it just takes just takes very long. What? Disengage in quick retreat? No fuck stay here. No, stealthing away. Nothing for us to do, but we have the 2065. Due to the overwhelming number of generator failures and mail functions, we posted disassembly instructions on our machines to in increase our field specialist survival rates. Keep reading. First, shut down. Second, open. Third, disengage. Do not disturb active field. This will not temple. Okay. Oh, shut generator. Open casing. Disengage etheric fields power. Disengage, open, and blah blah. Hopefully, I can keep this in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> when I was younger, I could uh, keep things easier in my mind, and now I can already see it. It's I have to. Uh, yeah, yeah. Glad I read the instructions. Turn off the generator. Open the casing. Deactivate the field. Crap the amateur. So. Now, what is left? Check chest for ley line infused rock samples. Come on, Scruffy. Do I want to uh, activate your defense mode? I'm pretty sure. Let me just do it in advance. Yeah, but you're still following. Yeah, yeah, I just see this. Here's the next one. What the fuck is he doing? Is this some kind. What kind of defense mode is this? Go! One thing uh, which is very cool about the shout heal for the warrior, because, yeah, well, you have different options, is that it, um, you can also use it in the beginning of a fight, because it uh, fully activates my adrenaline, yeah? And then you can use arc slicing and activate Berserker's power right from the start. 
Yeah, very interesting for those who don't, don't play guard. <laughs> this was the instruction. Check chest for le Ah, there are the chest. What am the fuck am Man, Scruffy, what the fuck is this kind of... Man, his uh, defense mode, follow mode... Come on, just follow me. Yeah, now he's doing that stuff. Now he's following us and I should be good too. Move the containers, chest unlock, several containers, uh, detection scan. This chest looks unlocked, a chromatic light glistens along its edges. The chest is filled with several samples of leyline in energy infused rocks. Take them! That's how we use the... Are you still following me? Or does this detection... Yeah, he's following me, now. okay. Well, because I guess he's carrying the stuff. Might makes me yeah, bite. great sword has one advantage. You can use the attacks rolling and what's called rush, just to uh, get, <laughs> just to move faster. That's why when <laughs> that's why for many players when they play warrior and then they say, oh, the great sword, I can. Are you done? What? When do you expect completion? Oh, fuck off. There you are. Got all the parts? Yeah. Let me hop onto Scruffy and make the finishing touches. Go ahead. Oh, the Arcane Council are coming. With the head councilor Flunt. Well, Councillor Flunt, I'm sorry to report that I've completely wasted your time and the waypoints will now all be destroyed by Mordramoth. What? Just kidding. My patent-pending waypoint recalibration device is now complete. Oh, you little degenerate. Turn it on. I'm gonna need to take this to the heart of the Leyline Chamber. Watch your step down the ramp. Okay. From the center here, we can hop on whatever confluence of ley lines Omad's crazy box ran on. And once the device is fully active, it'll adjust the waypoint's energy configuration to be bland and uninteresting to Mordramoth. It's on, and scanning the waypoint network now. So? Did it work? Hold on, the network is vast. It may take a while before I know. How long? Best approximate estimate, a few weeks. A few weeks? Unacceptable. Who knows how many waypoints we'll have lost by then? We need to discuss this. Hi, Casimir. Don't pay attention to Flunt. Boss is handling it. All right. So now, <laughs> what about our summit now? This is unsept unacceptable. I should have known better than to trust someone underage, degenerate, ack. Counselor Flunt, I'm sure Taimi can speed up the process. Sheet better. I'm not attending anything until we have a working solution to the endangered waypoints. If you want me at your summit, you will get your moving. I understand. Wow, you work fast. And you just started today? It's not like I just imagined it. Once you've got the design, all it takes is time. And, well, I couldn't have done it without the help. Thanks. Alright, let's talk with her. I just wanted to check something out, but okay. Hello. Oh, hello, Kasmir. I came to check on Timey, but I'm glad to see you here too. I talked to Countess An Anis, like you asked. What did she say? She relayed to our invitation to the Queen and, surprisingly, we replied quickly, Queen Jenna will attend the summit. That's great news. Our first confirmation. <laughs> I know. Apparently talking to Countess Anise was the right move. What are you going to do now? I'm meeting Braham in Holbrook. He has to talk to Ear about Whitebeard. Oh, right. Well, good luck with that. I know he doesn't get along so well with his mother. Your presence will help him a lot. Thanks. Can you stay with Tammy and make sure nothing interrupts her work? It's important. 
Absolutely. I will send word if anything happens. Thanks, Cass. Alright. A fitting reward. Take the stuff. Wizard Eye and Stone Ride Standing. Just arrived here in Holbrook, the city of the Norn, which my warrior belongs to. So, um, on our way to visit Eye and Stone Ride Standing, I can read the letter I've received from uh, just now when I came here. Because it comes from Marshal Traherne. Your summit to Commander Odin. I'm writing to inform you that at the uh, behest of the Pale Tree, I'll be attending the summit you are arranging to discuss Mortorov. I'm deeply curious to discover what the world leaders will say about the idea of combining efforts. I know we could use the additional firepower. With it, maybe we will lose fewer people than we did when we fought Saitan. I foresee that my presence will cause a bit of a steer and that the attendees will want a report on the Pact's plan. If you could meet me in the meet me in the grove prior to the gathering, I will fill you in so you can relay the information to the attendees. If you manage to, uh, to convince the leaders to work together, it will be an enormous victory. I look forward to seeing you again. I have some things to tell you about the Pact and our plans for Mortar of Trihern. Okay. Plant is here. Tell me. Okay, this is what I've already lead. Still looking for samples. So, where's our weird way to arm? Uh, ah, I can see. I remember this here. So, Traham wants me to visit him before the council. Um, I'm just curious. This is part of the. Which we have to do anyway, but because I just received it as a letter. I will see about that. Okay, Aya's home is just here on the right. Hey, good to see you back in Holbrack. Yeah, hi, Frida. The statue. Hello, mother. Graham, what a surprise. Hello, old friend. What are you doing here? We need to talk to you about something important. Let's sit down over here. We can talk in comfort. All right, I can see by your faces that it's serious. Tell me, what is it? <clears throat> okay. Should I be worried? Yes, an elder dragon, Mortemov, has awakened. It's already attacked two major forts, Fort Salma and Concordia, and it's going after waypoints. We've come to invite Knut Whitebeard to the summit to discuss this threat. No, Whitebeard won't atten attend anything like that. We have more than enough challenge with Jormak and the sons of Swanir. Surely there is something we can say to convince them? You don't understand. This is bigger than us. Jormag is dangerous, but it's only one member of the pack of Elder Dragons. I understand more than you think. No, you don't. If you did, you'd know that Mortremoth's reach is spreading. Its tendrils are showing up all over the place. The Elder Dragons each behave differently. We're only beginning to learn of Mordramoth's power. I just don't believe White Bear would leave here while Jormad's threat looms. Oh man, why I'm standing again. <sighs> Furthermore, we're not responsible for all over the place. We're responsible for our people. I just don't think White Bear will leave Holbrek right now. And by the time Mortimer reaches Holbrek, it will be too late. And then our people will have two dragons attempting to destroy us all. We have to challenge the greatest threat first. Exactly. Right now Mortimer is uh, fracking the most damage upon Tyria. Hmm. If what you say is true, then this may be worth a discussion, at least. So, you will speak with him about it? 
I know what would make White Bear more likely to attend your summit. What's that? If he had fewer headaches, he'd be more inclined to leave Holbrek. The sons of Svanir have been even more trouble lately. There's a group of them who've been killing and corrupting Norn. If I could tell White Bear we dealt them a serious blow, well... We'll take care of it. Okay. We have to uh, move one of... Uh... We should split up. You head straight to Frostgorge and find the totem. Bram and I will make our way there from the other side. You and me? We won't be far away. White Bear will be all the more impressed if you deal with this alone. If you're successful, I'll speak to White Bear myself. Okay, get directions from Aya Stelgakin. So, I have every confidence that you can handle this challenge alone. I've seen you in action. Braham and I won't be far. We'll keep as many reinforcements from coming at you as possible. Alright, where do I go? The Swanee, uh, Swanee have a base in the high peaks where they are raising a totem to Yormak. Go to Arundun Vale in Frost Gorge Sound and find a hunter named Kaolin. She will know how you can best help there. And if I do this, you will put in a good word with Knut Whitebeer? I will make sure he understands the seriousness of the situation and the need to deal with Mortimer before it gets too much stronger. I'm ready. I will see you when it's done. Confirm the plan with Braham. Maybe I should go with you. The sons of Swanier can be cunning and extremely vicious. I think I should go with you. No. Go with Ayer. I want to do this on my own. Ah, oh, come on, boss. What if something happens to you out there? I'd rather be with you than with her. Do it for me. Think of her as just another hunter. It will be fine. <laughs> Alright guys, we will continue next time with help the Vigil disrupt the Sons of Swania in the Frost Gorge sound. I guess there will be <laughs> quite some work for us there too, just like in the Iron Marches. Anyway, see ya! For great justice.